Ever wonder what life is like on the other side of a luxury velvet rope? Today we'll introduce you to Asia's top 10 most affluent families who have propelled themselves up through sheer hard work and savvy decisions. Join us as we explore their successes and get an inside look at wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Number 10. Karafivat Family, $19.3 billion. Did you know that in 1927, Tang Sharafivat, a poor Chinese immigrant, opened his first store in Bangkok under the name Keng Seng Lee? The first department store in the nation was established in 1956 by Samrit, the founder Tang Sun, in Bangkok's Wang Burafa district. Now, the Chirafivat family controls Central Group, known as the largest mall developer in Thailand. Tost Chirafivat, the founder's grandson, serves as the organization's leader. The family listed their private retail division, Central Retail, in February 2020, raising $2.5 billion in what was Thailand's largest IPO. The family and Austrian retailer Signa Holdings agreed to purchase London retail chain Selfridges in December 2021 for an estimated £4 billion. The family's most significant purchase to date will be this. Over the next five years, the group intends to invest $6.6 billion in its listed retail and real estate companies. Number 9. Sai Family – $20.1 billion The richest man in the Philippines, Henry S.I., began with a little shoe shop in Manila and expanded it to become the mall developer SM Prime. With more than 200 branches, the family's SM Investments Corporation is currently the biggest retailer in the Philippines. His six children are all actively involved in management, as of his grandchildren. Recently, Howard's grandson launched Storage Mart, a self-storage business in Makati, Philippines. SM Investments Corporation, the nation's largest conglomerate by market capitalization, also announced that it will acquire full ownership of Philippine geothermal production company in a 15.7 billion peso all-share deal as part of its efforts to reduce its carbon impact. Number 8. Henry Cheng, $22.5 billion. Henry Cheng took over as chairman of the family's two corporate pillars, Shou Tai Foot Jewelry Group and New World Development, from his late father, Cheng Yu Tong. Cheng is the chairman of at least seven family-owned businesses and a director of several closely held family investment enterprises. The family's $16 billion real estate holdings in mainland China are managed by brother Peter Cheng. The family network of businesses is run by at least 11 members of the Cheng family, including Adrian and Sonia, who both attended Harvard. Adrian Cheng serves as an executive director for both flagship businesses, and Sonia Cheng serves as CEO of the Rosewood Hotel Group, which New World purchased in 2011. The Cho Tai Fook family was also awarded the Gold Bohinia Medal for their contributions to Hong Kong, as well as the number 1929 on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. In recognition of the year, the jewelry business was founded in Guangzhou, China. Number 7. Quek and Quek Family, $23.3 billion. Hong Leong Group is a conglomerate with holdings in real estate and finance that is managed by more than 15 family members. The family's fortune dates back to 1941 when Quek Hong Pang and his three brothers began the business. Quek Leng Beng, the eldest child of Hong Pang, is in charge of operations there. Beginning in January 2018, Sherman, a grandchild, will take over as CEO of the family's city developments. Quek Leng Chan, a relative of Leng Beng, is in charge of the organization's business in Malaysia. Number 6. Lee Shou Ki Family, $29 billion. Lee Shou Ki, the patriarch and current chairman of Henderson Land Development, says he will retire gradually. As vice chairman, his son Martin is in charge of the family's massive real estate company, Henderson Land. Daughter Margaret works for the company as an executive, while son Peter, who is also a vice chair, oversees operations in China. The third generation is about to enter the executive ranks, and the mall business is currently managed by Christine Lee, the eldest grandchild. 
In 1948, Shou Qi relocated to Hong Kong from the Guangdong province of China, where he originally engaged in currency and precious metal trading. Number 5. Ah Budi and Michael Hortono, $32 billion. The Hortono brothers, Ah Budi and Michael, get most of their fortune from their investment in Bank Central Asia. The Hartanos bought a share in BCA when the Salams, another wealthy family, lost control of the institution during the 1997 to 1998 Asian financial crisis. The family's riches come from the Cretex cigarette factory Jaram, which was started by their father and is now held by Budi's son Victor. Did you know that the Jaram brand, one of the largest producers of clove cigarettes, was named after a gramophone's needle. Number 4. Chiravenant Family, $36.6 billion. One of the largest suppliers of animal feed and cattle in the world, Charon Pukfand Groot's family saw its fortune increase by about $9 billion in 2017, thanks in part to a rise in the value of its stake in Chinese insurer Ping An, whose shares increased on rising income and bond rates. The company was founded in 1921 when brothers Chia Ek Cho and Chon Charon Kiravanant launched a store selling seeds to Thai farmers that had been imported from China. Chia Ek Cho's son, Danin, senior chairman of the organization, shares the wealth with his three siblings and other family members. Number 3. Kwok Family, $40 billion. Thomas Kwok a real estate magnate and the former co-chairman of the Hong Kong-listed developer Sun Hong Kai Properties, was sent back to prison in June 2017 after his final appeal was denied. He received a five-year sentence for corruption in 2014, but in July 2016, he was released on bail. Raymond, one of his two brothers, has served as Sun Hong Kai's sole chairman since 2014. Despite Thomas's legal defeat, the group's contract sales for the year that ended in June 2017 increased by 28% to a record $6.7 billion. Walter, the oldest brother, was expelled by the other two brothers in 2008, and he now owns his own real estate company. Number 2. Li Byung Chul Family, $40.8 billion. Samsung Electronics is the source of roughly 45% of the wealth of this family. The chairman of the company, Lee Kun-hee, suffered a heart attack in 2014 and remains comatose. J.Y. Lee, his only child, and presumed heir was given a five-year prison term in August 2017 for his involvement in the political scandal that led to the resignation of South Korea's former president Park Jun-hye. He is contesting the bribery and embezzlement accusations. Nearly 80 years ago in Daegu, the late Lee Byung Chol founded a little trading business. Today, his empire is the biggest producer of cell phones and TVs worldwide. Number 1. Ambani Family, $44.8 billion. Reliance Industries, the conglomerate owned by Mukesh Ambani, saw its shares so in 2017 as a result of improved refining margins and demand generated by its telecom unit, Reliance Geo. With the introduction of the 4G service Geo in 2016, the oil and gas billionaire started a pricing war in India's fiercely competitive telecom market. Since that time, Geo has added around 140 million users. Reliance also owns Network 18, a licensee of Forbes Media. Due to regulatory delays, his younger brother Anil's Reliance Communications cancelled a planned merger with Aerosol which is run by Malaysian billionaire Ananda Krishnan, and then completely shut down its 2D services. Before establishing Reliance Textile Industries and launching the well-known Vimal Textile brand in India, their father, Dhirubhai Ambani, traded yarn and spices while working at a petrol station in Yemen. You might need some ingenuity, originality, and patience if you want to get a little bit closer to the top always have the mindset that if they can succeed, so can you. It also wouldn't hurt to have been born to wealth, but the greatest fortunes on this list started as good ideas that people with creativity, drive, and connections used to build some of Asia's largest companies. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out this next video.